addition. But before I give this to you, uh, thumb up when you have it. Solve this in your mind. Thumb up on your chest when you think you have this. Start with something easy. Thumb up when you think you have it. Hey, Skylar, how did you get it? 25. Yes, okay. You got 25, and how did you get that? Because um, I did 10. Um, I know that um, there's 10 in each one, so I did 10 plus 10 equals 20. <coughs> and then um, I know that 3 plus 2 is 5. Is there another way to do this, Jada? I did three plus two. And then, well, it's basically what Skylar just did, but just three different order. So three, three plus two. Plus five. Okay. And then I added the two. You added the ten. Mm -hmm. And you put it together like that. One more strategy, Bryson. I did 10 plus 12. You got what? 22. Okay. And then I did it. And then you added it. That was a good strategy. You could do 13, 12. That's okay. There's lots of ways to get to it. Just because I, I picked on three students doesn't mean there's only three ways to do it. Okay? Let's try another one. Let's try something with larger numbers. Thumb up on your chest when you've got it. Michaela, what did you get? 57. 57. Here, yes, that means somebody else got that too. How did you get it? I did 30, 30 plus 20. Oh. And then 6 plus 1. What is? Oh, that's 50. And I did 6 plus 1, which equals 7. And then 57. Hmm. Yeah. Let's stop right here. What I notice um, when I look at your strategy, some of you have given it for the last problem in this. You're using the idea that we expand a number based on place value. We can break it apart into easier numbers to work with. Here we broke apart that we said thir three represents 30 and two represents 20. Put it together to make 50. And then we added the ones place. The six and the one makes seven. And we put together. Here I like this because we broke the 20 into two groups of 10. And we said 36 plus 10, 36, 46 plus 10. And what was left is we had to add the one. Now, quickly, is there anybody who did not get it and does not see how to get it? You don't see how we got this. Okay? Now, perfect. Because we have trouble with subtraction, so I'll pull these out. So let's look at it with addition. I'm going to give you a hundreds chart. And I want to show you how to see the numbers the way that others are seeing it, okay? Or some other ways to look at it. So take one, pass it around. Remember we did we used this last week with subtraction to help us see the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Miss Warren wanted to know if she can use uh, if she can have two math booklets. Math booklets. I'm not sure I know what she's talking about. Ask her what she's talking about. Yes, Bryson. Using the same idea? We can at the end. That would be fine. Okay. 
lot when you get excited about this. Oh, okay. Yes, the grass 